The coronavirus crisis has made even more evident that the way we produce, trade and consume food is unsustainable and unfair. There is a growing consensus to introduce systemic changes and the UN Food System Summit in 2021 could be a milestone in this reform. The pandemic has exposed and worsened the inequalities and discrimination already faced by too many people in our societies. In 2021, the European Commission intends to deliver on a series of ambitious equality strategies. In 2020, artists helped us through the misery of lockdowns from balconies and living rooms. So it's our turn to help them return on stage in 2021. Next Generation EU Union's recovery instrument is crucial not only to put the economy back on its feet, but also to progress towards the green and digital transition. Europe wants to have a climate-neutral circular economy by 2050. Never has an industrial revolution happened so fast, except the internet and digital revolution. You know, 15 years ago we still used fax machines. Most raw materials we use in the EU come from abroad. This makes us very dependent on external supply. And this is risky, as we saw during the pandemic. European Parliament wants sweeping action in this area. It calls for no less than creating entire new industrial ecosystems for raw materials. Safe preparation and distribution of COVID vaccines is an unprecedented challenge. I tried to underline possible issues on our way to equitable vaccine distribution within the EU and across the globe. I think there is one recent event that stands as a tragic reminder of the need to improve European migration and asylum policies. It is the fire that destroyed Moria reception facility in Greece, leaving about 12,000 migrants and refugees without immediate shelter. We see a new momentum for the reform of the European asylum system, which is triggered by the new Pact on Migration and Asylum. There is hope that 2021 will usher in the long-awaited and much-needed reform in this area. The election of Joe Biden after four years of a very unconventional U.S. administration under President Trump signals the beginning of what could be big change in domestic U.S. politics, but also in transatlantic relations and global affairs. Turkey has engaged in unilateral actions and provocations and escalated its rhetoric against the European Union and some member states. Pre-accession funds have been frozen and new sanctions are on the table. In 2021, EU leaders will assess again Turkish behavior and decide how to proceed.